Sir, the lady is here again, asking to see you. You mean Melody? Yes, sir. Please tell her that I'm very busy now, she should come back later, please don't allow her to come in here. Okay, sir. Ma, he is very busy at the moment, can you please come back tomorrow? Are you talking to me? I don't have any business with you. Sir, I tried stopping her but she wouldn't listen. You can go. And what's the meaning of this, Sister Melody? Why do you have to bump into my office even when my secretary had told you that I was busy at the moment? I'm very sorry. Why are you disturbing my peace? Deacon, why are you avoiding me? Why have you not been picking my calls? Look here Sister Melody, I have told you I can't do what you are asking me to do, it is not possible. Have I not been patient enough with you? Your ways and manners still baffles me, what is wrong with you? Mr. Raffle, if you speak further to annoy me, I will be forced to do what you don't like. Are you threatening me? I am not threatening you, I am simply telling you that if you refuse to do my biddings, then be ready to face the consequences. And what do you intend to gain in breaking people's homes? I don't have the intention of breaking your home and that's why I have been patient all this while. Don't take me for granted, don't dare me. I will be expecting you tonight, unfailingly. I am out of here. Oh God. Please deliver me from this lady. Sister Melody on a phone call with Mr. Raphael's wife, Sister Felicia. They were supposed to go to the market together. Sister Felicia, I've been expecting your call, are we not going again? I'm so sorry, I've been busy since morning. So you won't be able to make it again. I would have loved to get those things today, but as it is now, I don't even know when I will leave the office. But I will manage, I will get some things on my way home for tonight. Okay, should I still keep the money? Yes, let the money be with you. I don't want to spend it on another thing. Okay, I've always told you not to bother, because I know you won't have the time. All right, thank you. My regards to your daughter. Sister Felicia, you look very tired. Yes, I came back very tired. I didn't go to the office with my car, so I had to wait for the official bus. By the way, where are you coming from? From where you sent me. So you have been to the market? Yes, since you told me you had no foodstuffs in the house, I decided to go alone. At least, if you have decided to fast, you shouldn't starve our deacon. Sister Melody, thank you so much, I am really grateful. I have told you to stop thanking me, what I am doing is nothing compared to you have done for me. I will bring soup for you you tomorrow. Wow, thank you so much, please add enough fish, we really enjoyed the one you brought last week. I'm glad you did. How is Deacon? Is he in? Yes, he is in. Let me call him for you. Don't bother. I don't want you to disturb his rest. Let me call him. I am sure he will want to say hi. Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Sister Melody. Dear, you have to specially thank Sister Melody. She has gone to the market to buy all the foodstuffs. Oh, you mean you don't have to go to the market again? She bought everything. It's not necessary again. And I told her we enjoyed the delicacy she brought for us yesterday. Yes, thank you very much Sister Melody. Please excuse me, let me get something for your daughter. Deacon, I waited for you in vain yesterday, you didn't show up again. Dear, Sister Melody is waiting for you. I still don't like the idea of sending Sister Melody on errands. I have told you that she is a married woman and I am not comfortable with it. I had wanted to stop. But she won't let me, I even told her that you were not in support of it. She kept saying that's the only way she could show her appreciation to us. You said she won't let you but you always complain to her about the situation in your home. You even gave her money to go to the market for you, can't you go to the market yourself? That was my intention, but before I knew what was happening, she came in what was happening, she already came in with the stuffs. You have to stop her. I mean, we are not the only family in church, she is already becoming part of the family. But dear, why are you talking like this? We are the only one standing by this sister and her daughter ever since her husband left her. How did you know this, and besides, the church is always praying to God to restore her husband. She told me, and that is why she is close to us in this family. Whatever we do for her is unto God and on behalf of the church, so we have to point her attention to God not us. Please be careful in your dealings with her. Okay, I will do something about it. Please do it fast. Auntie Grace called. She said she would be coming tomorrow morning. 
You know I am traveling tomorrow morning too, who will take care of her? She will take care of herself, she is my sister and not a stranger. Please take care of her too. Please subscribe to this channel. The house is yours, please feel free, Felicia has prepared soup and stew. They are all in the fridge. I will take care of myself. Alright, let's go inside. Good evening, Deacon. Thank you Sister Melody, how is your daughter? She is doing fine. My wife is not around, she traveled. I know, she told me she will be back tomorrow. Mr. Raffle, I think I've been trying to play safe with you, but it seems you are taking me for granted. But Sister Melody, I'm a married man, and you are a married woman also, why are you raising this issue again and again? I don't have a husband. You do, my sister. And the prayer of everybody in church is that God restore your husband to you. And that should be your prayer too instead of allowing yourself to be used by flesh and the devil. Are you talking to me? Am I the one the devil is using or you? By the time I am done with you, you will have nothing left to he called a home. You lie, in Jesus' mighty name, my home will stand. Now get out of my house. Raphael, why are you shouting like that? Nothing auntie, I'm just trying to talk sense into this fool. Me, a fool, we shall soon see who the fool is. Yes, that's who you are, get out of my house. Out. Raffle, what is going on, why are you shouting? Auntie, please forget about that idiot, I've never seen a sister like that in my life. A sister, is she a child of God? She is a member of our church and a friend to my wife. Then you shouldn't have spoken to her like that, no matter what she has done, you need to exercise some patience. She pushed me to the wall. How? Aunt, please forget about her case. What did she do to you that calls for such confrontation? It's a personal matter and I am still praying about it. Raffle, I am your sister, flesh and blood, you better tell me what is going on right now, perhaps I can help. You know I am a woman too. Auntie, it's a long story but I will not hide anything from you. Thank you. Auntie Grace, I'm in a serious bondage, and I pray God deliver me. It happened when I began to see sudden changes in my wife's behavior. She used to be very loving, supportive, humble and ready to release herself to me. She suddenly changed and began to give excuses. But before this, I noticed an unusual closeness between her and Sister Melody. Who is this Sister Melody? Who is she? She is a fervent member of our church, in fact, she is one of the choristers, and the husband was in the church with her. But she reported a case of infidelity against her husband in church after which the church found out that the man was having an affair with a young convert. The elders invited him. And what was his response? He was very sad, he said it was the devil that pushed him into it, and that his wife was not helping matters, although we didn't fully understand what he meant until later. He was suspended as the Sunday school teacher then he got angry and left the church, abandoning his wife and their only daughter. But why is this lady behaving like this? After the incidents, I begin to see this closeness between my wife and this woman, to which I raised an objection. Dear, where are you going to? You just returned from work. I want to visit Sister Melody. Why and for what? She's been very lonely ever since her husband left her for that strange woman. Please sit down. What is it? Your relationship with this sister is getting deeper. You even brought her into this house to sleep in the visitor's room yesterday night, with her daughter. Why, this sister still has her own house and God can touch her husband's heart at any time. I am also not comfortable seeing her in our kitchen, he is a married woman and should not be treated anyhow. Sister Melody loves shopping and cooking, she willingly offered to help since she knows that I will be coming back late from work. You still have to stop it. I don't like it at all. But dear, Sister Melody is a very nice sister and you know her very well. I know, but my spirit doesn't agree with her as to be so much involved with my family. Alright, I will adjust, but I still have to go, because I have already promised her that I will see her this evening. All my efforts to stop their friendship proved abortive. They got so close that at times this woman freely sleeps in our house, she sometimes helped my wife to prepare food and do some house chores. What was your wife's response to all this? She got carried away because the presence of Sister Melody in this house made things easy for her. It got to a stage where Sister Melody does virtually everything in the house, while my wife got busy with her job. And you didn't warn her? I tried to, but I also became very relaxed. Since she is a married woman. Auntie, 
While we were all engaged in this very deep spiritual slumber, I began to sense that something was going wrong. As my wife started behaving strangely, like how she finds it difficult to release her body to me, I initially thought it was because of her busy schedule in the office, so I decided to give her some time. But later, I had to confront her. Dear what is going on? What is it? Why are you taking your body away from me? Why the complaints? Why? Because you were never like this before. And how was I before? Please stop complaining and let's go to bed. I'm tired already. You don't know what you are saying, Felicia. I am a man, where else do you want me to go? You complain always of your work. Today is weekend and you have been around since morning. It was Sister Melody that you sent to the market yet you are not ready for me. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. I'm gradually losing interest. This is not ordinary. We have to pray about it, and you two must take the matter serious. Can we pray now? Yes, sure. Did she change? She became hardened and totally lost interest in me. This is serious. This attitude really affected our relationship, and we didn't chen ourselves to see what went wrong. We were so deep in our slumber. We continued patching it up until one day when my wife had an official trip from the office. To be continued. Thanks for watching. Drop your comments in the comment section. Like share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified when another video is being posted.